Alright guys, this is a JMPL GT4. I'm going to be talking today about the Big 12 Conference, uh, their upcoming week, my predictions on each of those games, and uh, after I shoot this video, I'm going to shoot another one specifically uh, detailing my team, Texas a against uh, Utah State. So look out for those and then after this week's games I'm also going to go into uh, a follow-up video of this week uh, what I saw what I liked what I didn't like and um, what my overall thoughts were about this weekend um, alright I'm gonna start off with Big 12 North go down um, you know I guess the standings who's number one through six and then the Big 12 uh, South one through six Starting off with Nebraska, we got Nebraska and Virginia Tech playing this week. Uh, Virginia Tech, I believe, is ranked number 13. Nebraska is number 19. They're both, uh, well, Virginia Tech is 1-1. One one. Nebraska is 2-0. and oh. Virginia Tech lost two weeks ago against Alabama uh, in a pretty close game. Virginia Tech uh, had a pretty good game that game. Uh, i say if it wasn't for that game, they'd definitely be 2-0. Oh. I'm going to give the edge. And uh, the prediction for this week, this game, I'm going to give it to Virginia Tech. Uh, I know Nebraska has pretty good offense up there, but I think Virginia Tech has an even better defense. Um, I don't really know much about Nebraska's defense, but I think Virginia Tech would be able to score on them. Uh, I give the edge on this one to Virginia Tech. Okay, moving on to the next game, we got Kansas versus Duke. They're 2-0. and This should be this should prove to be a pretty easy game for uh, Kansas, I believe. I think they're going to come out with a win on this game uh, fairly easily. The next game that I'm going to talk about is Missouri. They face Furman. Uh, Furman State, I believe. Uh, they're 2-0 and right now. They almost lost last week's game. They pulled it out at the last second, well not the last second, the last few minutes against Bowling Green. That wasn't very impressive for me. Um, they did have a pretty good win their first week against Illinois, 37-9. to But uh, I think overall, um, I haven't been too terribly impressed with Missouri this year. I think Nebraska is definitely the better Big 12 North team. Um, I say that I give this uh, the edge on this one, though Missouri from the state, I give it to Missouri obvious, for obvious reasons. Uh, next game we got is Iowa State. They're facing Kent State this week. Uh, I think this is going to be a good game um, as far as the level of play. They're going to be pretty fairly matched, I think. Iowa State, I'm going to give the edge to. Uh, I think they can probably pull out a win on this one. Uh, moving on, we have K-State, rank, uh, they have a 1-on-1 -on record right now, they're going up against, uh, UCLA. I'm going to have to give the edge of this one, uh, to UCLA. Uh, the Bruins, um, man, they had one hell of a game, uh, they played last two weeks, they beat Tennessee last week 19-15, to, 19 to 15, so... I think they have a pretty decent team this year. I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to say they pull off a win against Kansas State this weekend. Uh, I'm going to give the edge to those guys. All right, I'm going to move on to the last Big 12 North team on the list uh, in Colorado. Uh, they are 0-2 so far in the season. I do not think they are as much as they were preseason hype to be. Um, they did not play very good teams uh, and they got spanked. <laughs> I mean, let's see, last week they played Toledo and lost 54 to 38. They got spanked. The week before they played Colorado State and they lost 23 to 17. That one wasn't too bad, but to Toledo, come on, man. Who loses to those guys? Um, this week, though, talk about this week they played Wyoming. Uh, Wyoming played Texas last week. Very good. They held Texas to only 13 points in the first half. Uh, I believe if they would have continued that, uh, they would have given Texas a run for their money last last week. Uh, Colorado, on the other hand, they've had really two poor showings the first two games of the season. I'm going to give the edge on this one to Wyoming. 
if they can uh, come out and have a strong showing like get it like they did against Texas. Colorado doesn't show up for a third week in a row, which I'm pretty sure that they will do. I'm going to say the Wyoming wins this game. Um, on to the Big 12 South. We have Texas versus Texas Tech. This is going to be a fairly decent game. I think Texas is the better team overall, but I think that um, Tech holds a little bit of an advantage. Texas has come out real slow the last two weeks um, against Wyoming and also against, I believe it was Monroe they played, came out real slow against, uh, let me check that, yeah, Louisiana Monroe. Ended up having a fairly good wins against both of those teams, but like I said, they came off real slow. It wouldn't be a typical Texas team like I would have thought that I would have seen coming out and playing uh, the first two games in the season. Uh, they play Tech this week in Lubbock. Um, if they come off slow like that, I think Texas Tech is going to uh, put put some points up on the board. Uh, this might turn into an interesting game. Uh, Tech, they're going to be wanting another win from last year. They won in Austin last year. This year they're in Lubbock. Uh, I think in this game anything might might be possible. I, you know. I'm kind of iffy about this one. I'm not really sure who's going to have the advantage because there's so many unknown var uh, unknown variables in the equation. Is Texas going to come out for a third week and uh, not play strong in the first half? Is Texas Tech going to um, actually come and play a good offensive game? Uh, not saying they did in the last two weeks. I just think that it, it wasn't typical Texas Tech uh, like we've seen the last two, three years or so. Uh, so I'm going to say that I give the edge to Texas on this game, but anything's possible. Um, uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to say this is going to be an equal game. I'm not going to give a prediction on this one. Uh, Tech is, they have a lot of stuff coming behind them with and playing in Lubbock. So uh, we'll just kind of have to see how that one goes. You ought to watch out if it comes on TV. That should be a good game to watch. Um, up next, we have Texas A&M. They are playing Utah State, the other Aggies. Uh, I'm just going to briefly touch on this and then post another video, like I said at the beginning of this one, uh, after this. Texas A&M, I'm predicting to win this game. For more details, check out my next video. Uh, on to Baylor. They're playing Connecticut. Um... I think that the Huskies are going to win this game. They lost by two points last week against North Carolina. I'm going to say that, North, that uh, against number 19 North Carolina, I'm going to say Connecticut has a pretty decent team this year. I think they can beat Baylor. Uh, I don't know that it's going to be a slaughter. It'll probably turn out to be a pretty decent game, but I, I, I'm giving the edge on that one to Connecticut. I think they're going to win that game. Um, I'm going to move on now to Oklahoma. They play Tulsa this week. Uh, it's kind of a crazy sort of game. Tulsa is one of those teams that uh, you don't know how they're going to come out and play. They might come out and suck like hell. They might come out and really surprise you. Uh, for Oklahoma, this might be a little bit of an issue. There's kind of a little uh, in-state sort of tension probably going to be happening. Uh, the end of both in Oklahoma. I think that uh, I'm still going to give the edge on this one to Oklahoma, being that they they did have a pretty decent showing last week against uh, a team they played. They ended up whooping them pretty bad, 64 to zero. So I'm going to give the edge to this one to Oklahoma. I think they could probably come out and be uh, consistent again, and uh, they'll pull off the win against Tulsa. Um, on to the last game we're going to talk about today. We've got OK State. They're playing Rice. I'm going to give the edge to this one. Hands down, OK State. I think they're going to whoop Rice. I think that they have uh, a little bit of animosity from this last week, being that they lost to U of H. They're going to be ready to come out and uh, they're going to be pissed. And they're going to want blood against somebody, and Rice, unfortunately, is the next one in line. Uh, I 
State of Oklahoma State wins that game pretty good. Uh, well, that's all the teams right now. Um, like I said, tune in for the coming videos. I'm going to post a follow-up to this one. Uh, talk about week three after all the games have been played. Uh, gig them.